Hello everybody, my name is Orlando. If this is the first time here, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick uh, tutorial on how to uh, edit a design, embroidery design. This is going to be an applique for a t-shirt, a baby uh, t-shirt. And I'm going to be showing you how to how to import the design, and how to modify, change colors, and, and so on. And using uh, Embrilliance, this is the uh, the basic uh, software, even though I have a stitch at a level 2, we're not going to work with that today. That's more for digitizing and creating your own designs. Uh, we're just going to do a basic editing, uh, which you can do with uh, Embrilliance. Uh, I have Enthusiast as well. It's another version. You can check that on their website. Uh, but let's start uh, with the design and i show you. So I'm going to be uh, selecting an, an applicate uh, with a number. So let me just find it. So it's gonna be snowflakes uh, from Frozen. Um, this is gonna be in a 40 uh, shirt. So I'm going to use. Uh, I'm gonna put in the number three. Uh, yes, let's do number three. But uh, I need a five by seven. I have a brother's uh, entrepreneur PR 1050. So I, I use the PES file. You will have to choose whichever file is appropriate for your machine. Uh, let's go ahead and click on where it says import. That will bring you to the main uh, interface for the design area. So we want to rotate this 90 degrees to the right. So we're going to go ahead on top left corner and click on that section. Uh, we need to make sure we select the, the design and then go ahead and rotate it. Uh, I'm going to also bring this up because I want to add a name uh, to the design so let's go ahead and I like to have it uh, each one uh, on the grid each one of these a square represents an inch so if you notice here on the bottom I have a hoop that is 9 by 8 you can also change that if you need to you will have to go to the section that says preference show the preference window and then you go right here where it says hoops uh, I have a brother machine, so I select the PES, but you have different other formats you can select. Uh, I have a mighty hoop. This is a custom uh, settings that I did here. Uh, it's a magnetic hoop. Uh, and then I, I add it to the software, and that's what it's showing here, the dimensions in, in millimeters and, and also in inches. Uh, so you will select that. that. That's what you see here. Each, each one of these represents one inch. Uh, if you want to make this bigger, you can just click on this and extend it. If you want, I don't recommend to do that because you're going to have the stitches, uh, changing the number of stitches, and you're going to have to add and make a few more modifications with the density uh, and some some other things. So I recommend to leave it at that size, and then let's go ahead and, and add text. So this is going to be a birthday T-shirt. So let's go ahead right here on the top where it says A for text. It's uh, create lettering design and then um, sorry I added in an extra one so let me just erase that one and then if you notice here this is where you will input the name uh, so for this uh, t-shirt let's put the name of Harper and I want to change also the font uh, let me select uh, Let's do this one one inch. And then I'm gonna bring that down. So the easiest way to do this is selecting the, the design and then pressing the arrow down on your keyboard to bring the uh, the design to the position you need it to be. And and also this this design is not too big, I'm gonna bring this also the number one, I mean the number three down a little bit more. There is an option on the software. If you select uh, with the, with this one design with the applicant uh, select, if you go to utility, there is an option here that says centering hoop that will allow you to bring the design to the center, and then you can from there go to the top. This is important because uh, it will uh, make sure that when you are putting the T-shirt in the hoop, uh, you know the design is is right on the in the center, uh, and you need that to be accurate. And then right here, you will select again, and then you can change the colors if you need to change the colors. So let's change the name again. 
to Harper and then um, let's press enter and then we can change the color to whatever color we want so this is a frozen thing we're gonna go ahead and change it to blue um, to do that you just click on the design and then uh, let's start with the letters first uh, so that's a lot of easier so you click on the on the this on the name and then go ahead to where it says color so I'm using a specific brand of uh, thread uh, sorry a, a specific brand of thread that is called Lyra so to do that click double click on the color right now it's black but we're gonna change that to I'm gonna go by number and the number is gonna be uh, for blue 1932 I think 1932 you can also search by name uh, 1932 and let's go ahead and press go so that's the summer sky blue go ahead and press ok and we can use the same number to change the number three so if you notice from applicate you have different uh, for each object you have different uh, threads so the first command will do um, an alignment uh, where it shows basically the the uh, shape of the design so in this case it's a number three and it will do one pass uh, and that usually will be done with a running stitch and then the machine will stop at that point you will have to put a piece of fabric or material vinyl that you are embroidering and then the machine will start with the second sequence which is a placing the stitch that will make sure that the fabric whichever material you put on top of the layout gets sewn into uh, the t-shirt and then at that point when that is completed the machine will stop again you get the hoop out and then you start trimming the excess of fabric or vinyl then you put it back and then the machine will do the last pass in this case it will be a satin stitch uh, that will be the final uh, of the finish on, on the design and then once that's done uh, in this particular case that was the only section that was an applicate the rest will be the remaining in this in this case the flakes uh, f the snowflakes on the design and then you can also change the color we're going to change the color for this particular one this is going to be a light purple so once again the number on that is going to be 1711 so press where it says number 1711 press go and then that's the color that has been changed you don't have to change each one of these the reason why these are different so is the machine can stop but you can also on your embroidery machine you can add a stop in each one of these I usually just change the uh, satin stitch uh, so I know exactly what color is going to be when I go take this to the um, okay so let's go ahead and change uh, one second well this one actually is supposed to be number three uh, let's change the number th three to blue which is 1932 all right so the name and the number three are going to be a blue and then this one is going to be the light purple which in this case 1711 that's correct and then uh, we're going to make this also light blue so let's go ahead and this one is going to be 1932 as well 1932 uh, is the color code for that particular brand uh, if you notice in the drop down menu you have different names different brands you can either select the brand that you have for your thread or you can just type in the the color number and then press go and it will automatically bring that to the design okay so one more thing that I want to change is this right here right now it's gray I want to change that to purple so 
double click on the color number and we're going to change that to purple which is in this case 1711 press go and then OK so that's it for this design uh, the next thing to do will be save the word file and the uh, and the embroidery machine file which in this case is a PES for a broader machine so to do that you go right here on the top left corner where it says file and then go ahead and press where it says save stitch and working file or you can use the one that says save as if you if you want to select a particular location on your computer so if I do that uh, I will select this I say and then I'm going to press um, the name of the design so you can just type snowflakes t-shirt design and then go ahead and press save and that will automatically save both working file in case you need to make changes or modifications to the layout and uh, colors or any other um, a modification you would like to do and then um, and then you also have the PES file which is the file you will put on your USB drive and transfer to your uh, embroidery machine so that's for today video thank you very much and please make sure to subscribe and like this video for future content thank you very much